This is the castle of Berat, Albania. If you haven't seen it yet, you should come here and see it. Jacko is one of the people living here. He has a small, we'll show you later, a small coffee shop. And maybe we can take a, a view of this clinic. Uh, see where you can have coffee. And it's probably the cheapest coffee in the world, given the, the view you will have here. And, and uh, yes. The, the this is, yeah, yeah, this is what we call the center of the castle, actually, which we call Acropolis, right? Okay. Uh, Acropolis is a Dukus Napit Kinivan Acropolis. Uh, they, they actually often ask us why do you call it Acropolis and as far as I know Jiku says we call it Acropolis because this is a word a, a word used internationally for the highest the highest level of a castle this is, the, this is called the second fortress and this is the third one Okay, he's a professional. <laughs> okay, this is what the local people say, you know, the princes and I don't know, whatever. They lived here. This was like the, the, the best place of the castle. And the most important part of the castle. And mm -hmm. yes, this is what we call the second fortress. That's what he does, you know, he keeps the castle clean. <laughs> They used to store things here on this uh, maybe you can show people. There used to be an Ottoman mosque up there. Oh, they, it was used by soldiers to, to pray as a praying place. Mm -hmm. And what is to you, Diko? So this is, a, I told you, a small a local coffee shop uh, run by Jiko and his wife. Well, it's you know it's very basic. They serve coffee and water, <laughs> Turkish coffee, espresso as well, and yeah, <laughs> just what tea as well, <laughs> especially the the local mountainous tea. You should come here and try it for yourself as soon as this terrible pandemic is over. He lives here every day. I asked him earlier, actually. How do you feel when you come here for a few, I don't know, hours? You feel really wow, this is great. And I ask him, how do you feel living here every day? With him to put a for It's it's really a big pleasure for me. He says I enjoy every single day of my life here. And you know what he says, some people here, especially the foreigners, when they come here and they see this beautiful place, they think, oh, we're too rich, you know, which is not the case. And, and I'm adding a few things, it's not exactly what Diko says now, but it's what he told me in, in an hour or so before we were filming. What I'm telling you, he says, is what I've also learned from people visiting the place, you know, like even professionals. They say you find here the those biggest stones, you know, which come, uh, which are here from the Illyrian times. And you see them at the bottom of the, of the castle and especially at the gate, at the main gate of the castle. Yeah, they, they weigh about five tons. And you know, people really ask themselves, how did they manage to carry those stones and build this big castle? They're really uniquely carved. They're very accurate. Yes, yeah, very precise, very accurate. You know, type of carving. Maybe we show them on the way. Maybe you come and see them for yourself. So they say Berat is like 2,400 years old. Jiku says it's 2,500 years old. <laughs> if you ask 10 or 20 Berati people how old Berat is, most of them will say 2,400. But then they may have some, you know, small discrepancies, like 100 years. <laughs> one, one last thing, I found it. <laughs> yes, that's really, that's really important to mention. Uh, if you haven't heard yet, we have 40 churches here in the castle. 
and mosques as well. I don't know how many. Um, and we have the two special codics, I think is the, the word in, in, in English. Uh, oh, yes. They keep them. They, they keep them in Tirana somewhere, you know, some museum. And, uh, but they also take them from time to time to these international fairs, like recently they were in China, as far as we know. Okay, <laughs> so we wait for you to come here and, and see us. Inshallah. Inshallah, yes. Inshallah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Inshallah, you probably all know the word Inshallah, hopefully. Our words go to those who have ears. That's it from us. Bye-bye. See you in Berat.